Hey everyone, welcome back to my latest rally trapping video. Today we'll be showcasing some clips from my guild, some rally trapping clips. Uh, some of them are from my account, the rest are actually from my guild. I do have a bunch of these clips saved up. Uh, usually I don't post these too early just because if I post them right after it happens, there's a good chance I won't get hit for a long time afterwards. So I like to wait a couple months before I post the rally trapping clips. Uh, that way uh, it's much easier to bait and get more clips. And I do have a bunch of them saved up so you get to see them slowly coming out here <laughs> as I'm going. This is my current comp for my rally traps if you guys are wondering. Uh, the only thing that's not current in this uh, video is my gear. I do have two mythic champ pieces in my gear now and a mythic cup. Where in this video, I was still running the uh, other cup. So, anyways, I'm gonna be taking a double rally to start off today's video from SW8 and RH. I am currently baiting in range, so I'm expecting them to either send infantry or uh, range at me in this rally. That's basically what I'm hoping. I'm going to try and pour away right away. They were carving in there anyways, so uh, it didn't really matter. Uh, thankfully, uh, I was able to cap that pretty easily. I did not drop very much from a double rally either. You can see I lost 1.6 on the first rally and then 1.6 on the second rally. So pretty much the exact same drop on both. So that went perfectly. So Thankfully, they decided to both send range. I was like, okay, I was expecting an infantry, I thought, and maybe a range. Uh, I wasn't expecting cab because I was sitting in range, so um, I didn't think they would try and send cab into my range front line, but I was at least expecting two different things, but they both decided to go range, which was perfect because they hit double range into my massive infantry front line, and I was able to cap them both pretty easily. So, uh, in this situation, like I said, if you're ever in this situation, just basically go what you think you're not going to get countered by. So like I said, if I'm baiting in range, I don't think they're going to go, uh, calves. So they're either going to go infantry or range. So I don't want to basically sit in range. I want to go to either cav or infantry. And in this situation, infantry is the best because if I'm expecting either a range or infantry blast, I do not want to be in cav. I want to be in infantry for that. And thankfully, they both sent range, made it super easy for me. I uh, did not take much damage at all. Like 1.6 is pretty normal for nowadays, especially an account like mine that doesn't have full counter done. If I had full counter, I'd take quite a bit less, but Unfortunately, I don't have that on this account, and I won't have that for quite a while. So, yeah, I wish I could get full counter on the account. Or even debuffs, but debuffs like 100 mil white. I'm still going back and forth on the debuffs, but here you go. Here's RH Blade's gear. Really good. A lot of artifact stars, a lot of castle stars. Very, very, very strong. And then Elrond was also quite strong as well. I think Elrond has double 11k heroes on the account. We'll double check that right now. But yeah, they both sent quite a bit of tier 5. Uh, yes, Elrond's does have double 11k heroes on his account, uh, obviously running double pack 5 familiars as well. Uh, you can see what I lost from that. Again, I didn't really have much uh, infirmary space because I'm running like 300k infirmaries right now. So, uh, when you're taking a double, infirmary space doesn't really matter because you're not going to be healing anyways. And the Sanctuary should be taking most of the other stuff. Uh, you can see Elrond here, he does have 165 castle stars. Uh, not as many artifact stars as RH Blade. RH Blade also has some better mythic champ in his gear as well. Um, not sure why he's sitting in. Is that infantry gear or am I crazy? Um, I thought that would... Yeah, he's definitely in infantry gear. So I'm not sure if I like poured it and caught him in the wrong gear or what was going on. But anyways, um, I'm sure he has decent stats because his mythic champ even if he hit me range. But I'm not sure what's going on. No, he sent... I don't know what's going on there. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. So I was able to cap him. Uh, this might... Oh, no, never mind. He got his... Uh he got his leader back anyway, so that, that wasn't the gear he hit me in. But, uh, again, um, yeah. Yeah, so, anyway. So, yeah, you can see what they were testing me in. I was in range wedge. Uh, so, I was baiting them in this formation because I was trying to go get them to go a certain thing. So, if you're trying to get someone to go a certain thing, uh, usually what they won't do is send whatever... Uh, gets countered in whatever formation you're in. So if you're in infantry, they probably won't send range at you. If you're in range, they probably won't send cab. If you're in cab, they probably won't send infantry. So that gives two options. Like I said, if I'm baiting in range, the only two things they'll probably send at me is range or infantry. 
because, again, they don't want to full counter themselves, especially if I'm offline. So, um, so that's why I picked infantry, because infantry doesn't get countered by either range or infantry. Where if I picked cav, it does get countered by range. So that would have been a really bad idea because they both sent range. Uh, and you can see none of them sent cav, but I was also expecting them maybe to send infantry. But if I'm in range wedge, a lot of times a test will show that range does more than infantry. So sometimes people think I'm sitting in cav if I'm sitting in range wedge. So maybe that's why there was no, uh, what's it called, infantry sent. It was just double range because maybe they thought it was in cav. I don't know. Or they're just trying to bamboozle them. And the last thing you were going to do is send cav anyways because I would have been in range. So anyways, moving on to the next clip. This is going to be from my guild mate. Um, this was... I think he was offline for the first hit. Again, I wasn't even recording for the first hit. Got the report. He got full countered. Unfortunately, he was offline. DE Gnarly was the one who hit him. Pretty strong account. Bunch of Mythic Champ and stuff in there. Um, Roast Toast. Well, I think he was offline, but he did get online for this second one. Or he just messed up the first one. Again, I wasn't on. I, I don't know what happened because I was not online for the first rally. I got on after the like uh, notifications came on. I got on and unfortunately the first rally had already hit. I got the recorder on right before the second rally hit from D. He Prometheus, who's also quite strong as well. So let's take a look at his gear. Actually, he's not as strong as the other guys. So Koro Senpai. Yeah, actually, oh no, Prometheus is not very strong because I took his rally as well. Uh, that's also why none of them are going to set a rally on me right now. because I've, I've already capped them. I have to post that video, but I was posting this one first. So anyways, there's a rally coming in on Roast Toast here. Uh, it doesn't look like they're carpeting. It is an oh, okay, yeah. But yeah, that was it. Prometheus wasn't very strong. I remember this. <laughs> Again, he hit me, uh, did very little damage. He hit uh, Roast Toast here. Again, still did very little damage. I believe Roast Toast either just countered him or switched gears really quickly there. Not 100% sure, but yeah, the next one kind of noodled. Uh, only a million damage on that. So great job, the Roast Toast, for capping that. I think I also got his Scout, which is off. I think that's a two times. I don't think he has 75 million troops. Uh, it does look like a two times just from... Uh, everything being even there. So um, he doesn't really have very much tier four. He has like a million of each and like 500K tier. Th yeah, you could actually rally that guy because <laughs> I don't think his base stats are very high based on his gear and everything else. Uh, he is quite low on that. And yeah, that could be a burn if we rally that guy. I was just going through there. Uh, he's like 10 mil frontline though. So, but walking back from like 1.5 mil yeah, he doesn't really have much infantry at all. He only has, he only has less like 500k infantry. Anyways, let's take a look at the report here. Uh, 1.1 million tier 5, they said. Unfortunately for them, Prometheus is not the strongest lead. Did not do very much damage. It was like 360 to the front line, and the rest was uh, pack 5s. Um, yeah, if he's yeah, he he has a gold cup, and he's running a uh, mythic vial and all that. Again, it's not bad gear. It's just for a rally lead, it's bad gear. That's what I'm talking like. Not bad gear, but it's not good gear for a rally lead, if, I, if that makes any sense. Anyways, so that was the end there. We're going to move on to Master NK. So Master NK is also baiting offline. Uh, this was during KBK. Um, so um, it looks like they will be going infantry because <laughs> I got the guy's scout. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's the easiest counter ever. Uh, they ended up canceling that one because, yeah, I... Unfortunately for him, he forgot to put an anti on. So um, if you guys don't know, uh, if you're a rally lead and you don't have your anti on, someone can scout you and see what you're actually sending in the rally. Um, in that situation, it was infantry. Uh, he decided to put a uh, an anti on, so dang it. <laughs> that would have been a really easy rally to counter because uh, knowing exactly what he has after that, so... Dang it, so he put it on. So Master NK is going to be going in blind here. Uh, I don't believe they even carpet this rally, so I don't think it really matters in the end. But I'm, I'm just going to continue to scout this guy to see uh, if I can actually get the guy, um, the guy's scout, see if he puts on an uh, attack boost a little bit early. Uh, that's also the thing. Don't put your attack boost on until you're walking as well, because uh, once you're walking, you already have your gear on and everyone can see what's going on. But if you put it on, like, before that, I could scout you, see what, what you're sending, tell the guy exactly what he's sending, and then he just switches to the right formation, and then he can just literally port when the, the rally walks and cap you super easily. But um, if you didn't know that, 
So, by the way, if you guys ever have like a guildmate getting rallied, just go with the rally lead, because a lot of times you might actually catch up what they're sending before the rally even locks. So anyways, rally is walking right now. It looks like he is going to be going infantry. Uh, it's not carpeting or anything like that. I'm going to just try and scout him. But, but again, he went the exact same thing we scouted him the first time. So um, going to be a very easy counter for Master NK. I uh, basically had all the time in the world. And you can see, yeah, I did 3.3. Master NK is pretty strong there. Uh, got some pretty good base research and all that stuff done on the account. So also, I think he has quite a bit of troops. So uh, we'll take a look at the report and see how everything happened. Again, this guy has pretty good gear, actually. Mythic Champ, he's got full Mythic gear. So pretty good gear, but yeah, only a million damage. Uh, does he not have pack fives? He only has a single pack five. Ooh, so he's got good gear, but unfortunately his familiars need a little work. He does need to get that second pack five if he wants to do more damage, because yeah, single pack five's just not cutting it nowadays. Um, you can see Master NK is set up pretty strong. He does not have much cav though, so uh, definitely needs more cav. We must have been going a bunch of cav rallies or something if he has that little cav on the account, because he does have quite a bit of other troops, but yeah. Obviously, Cav is not one of them. So, anyways, we're going to move on to the last rally of today's video. It is going to be from Warhawk R. Um, again, this guy is actually quite strong as well. Quite a bit of artifact stars. Uh, I think Warhawk's pretty good, though. So, <laughs> he is online, though, so he should be able to take this pretty easily. Um, it looks like there's about 18 seconds left. This is going to be from DB or DFB. Yeah, DFB is going to be the rally lead. Um, let's see what they're sending though. It is gonna be from Skyd87. So let's take a look. Yeah, he's quite strong. Let's take a look at he's sending. It is a cav. Bunch of tempered 12 on there. Uh, it looks like Warhawk did get the uh, gear on in time. He's in the right formation, was able to full counter, and yes, another noodle attack. Only 286 to the front line, so um, I'm assuming Warhawk does have full counter done because yeah, that's very little damage to a front line. Um, does have quite good uh, heroes on his wall as well. A couple pay to play. Oh, I guess one pay to play plus Watcher plus Rose Knight. So he's got a bunch of army attack heroes. Uh, obviously set up really well because uh, this guy does have quite good gear. Um, not a bunch of Mythic Champ, but uh, still tempered 12 uh, regular uh, Mythic gear is pretty good. So uh, someone's scouting me, but I don't think they're going to be rallying me. <laughs> Um, again, they just got capped on Warhawk there. Uh, did throw their read leader in the prison, so there was no bunny either. So great job by, by Warhawk there. Able to cap that pretty damn easily. Uh, okay, so I think that was the last clip we have. So again, if you guys have joined the giveaway, um, the uh, link for the next code will be in the top right of the screen. If you guys are missing it, um, if you're on computer, I think it's a lot easier to find it. If it's, uh, if you're on mobile, sometimes it pops up, sometimes it doesn't. It should be actually technically below the description if you, if you do miss it. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> so, um, it should be really easy to find. Like I said, all I want you, all I want is you guys to show up on the video every week. I'm not trying to hide the codes or any. It should be quite easy to find. So if you missed it in the last video, go check that one out too. Second code will be in today's video and the third code will be in tomorrow's video. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one.